Hi everyone and welcome to another live. Today we are unboxing the winter culture fly box. Um, you know what's funny is that the video just before this one is me unboxing my fall culture fly box. So because my call my fall one came uh, late you guys know. So this is the winter one. Hello. Um, yeah, this is the winter one. I'm so excited. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, guys, you know we're getting Kuroneko today. You love the thumbnail? Thank you. I know it's kind of crazy. It's a little crazy, but I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's make it all festive and stuff. Kuroneko is coming out today. Um, it's coming out 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're not in the EST time zone, just um, switch it over. But, hi everyone. This this week is going to be crazy. It already is crazy, and today is just the beginning of it. Also, it's super windy outside, so you might hear some wind in the background. You like my shirt? Thank you. This is the Miraculous New York Special shirt from the Amazon shop. Um, but that is not, this is what we're focusing on. The box. Okay. I'm really excited. So this came yesterday and firstly, look at the size. I have never seen a Culturefy box like this. Normally they are like a little taller, a little more boxy, but this is rectangular. It's so pretty. It is just, it is so pretty. I love it so much. So, let's unbox this. Okay, you guys, let's let's get the first look together, okay? I actually have only seen two items in here. I've seen, uh, actually I'm not gonna say them, but I've seen two items, that's it. So let's open it. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. So firstly, I love how Culture Fly always has some kind of image here on the box like these boxes i never throw them out because they're so pretty so it says love and courage i love it so much this is so cute and right at the top the box is always full full to the very top so the first thing that we have in here i think this is a poster <gasps> stop oh my gosh okay what is this wrapping paper Guys, this is miraculous. <gasps> this is miraculous wrapping paper. Oh my. Oh. What? That is so cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These are my scissors. That is so cool. Kuroneko is airing today. Crazy, I know. But guys, I'm so happy because I wanted at least Kuroneko or Penalteam to air today. I mean, this week before the finale. Thank gosh, thank gosh. It's airing today at 2.55 p.m. Eastern time. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to cut this. Um, there we go. So. And you know what's funny, guys? We didn't get any trailer. There is no trailer. If there was a trailer, I would have shared it. Um, but there was nada. And honestly, I'm kind of glad. Because for the first time, we'll be like really, really surprised as to what's going to happen in the episode. Um, so yeah. Where can we watch it? So you guys know that I use a VPN whenever I watch the episodes. But because I've never like watched an episode on this channel... I have no clue as of right now where we can be watching it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's happening right now. Isn't it? I, I say this. It's funny because I don't know how you uh, pronounce this channel. I would assume it's plus plus, but I hear people saying plus plus. So I don't know. Let's just say plus plus. I don't know. Anyways, um, it's funny because this channel has like... I've never heard about this channel. I mean, all season. And then all of a sudden they're like, surprise, Christmas gifts. And I'm like, oh, okay, um, three episodes back to back. That's, that's crazy. But anyways, 
let's oh my gosh this is so pretty oh my how am i supposed to wrap a gift with this i don't want to use it i want to put it on my wall it's so pretty we've got cat noir rena tiki and plague ladybug carapace and then it just repeats the pattern and the other one is actually exactly the pattern and the design of the box oh, it is so pretty it is so pretty oh my gosh i love this okay i'm gonna put this away so um no one better use it if i find a gift wrap with this i'm gonna be like no because i don't want to use it i probably will eventually but like right now you know what hopefully by for next year next christmas they have miraculous wrapping paper in stores that would be awesome but that is the wrapping paper it is so pretty love 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 um curl neko is airing today at 2 55 p.m eastern time right now guys i don't know where i'm watching it because i don't think a vpn will work for this channel and that's how i watch the episodes so i honestly don't know right now um i just know it's airing today risk is not coming out today it'll be current echo um also it's funny how like unorganized this week is gonna be because like we're finding out last minute when episodes are coming out all this stuff it's funny it's funny um okay next item next item is this beautiful acrylic pin box please stay standing up actually i will close it hold on <clears throat> this pin i love pins so much i love keychains i love pins um let's open this culture fly boxes are just the best i love them am i gonna do a live reaction if i figure out how to watch the episode yes um, but yeah, there is no trailer. Isn't that funny? Like we always get trailers and I don't think out of any of the spoilers we had gotten previously, any belong to the episode. So we're going in this with just literally no understanding of what's going on. And I'm actually very excited about it because it's going to make for an even more fun reaction for everyone. So this is the pin. Love this so much. We have Ladybug here. Oh, I love so much. Okay, next item. Next item. We have, okay, actually, I'm not going to look at the back, which is like, how are you not going to look at the back? I'm covering it, I promise. This is the beautiful card. These always come with the culture fly boxes. And on the back of them, if you look at it, it will show every item that comes in the box, but I'm purposely not looking at it because I don't want to know. I just want to open it and keep being surprised. Okay, this was one of the items that I knew was going to be in the box. Oh my gosh. And it is the first ever Cat Blanc item that Miraculous has released. Like, I don't think I've ever seen another Cat Blanc item. And this is an acrylic stand. When, when everyone saw this on Instagram, when Culture Fly shared it, we were screaming. We were screaming. Um, okay. Put the trash there. Oh my gosh. This is so... I love this. I don't actually have any acrylic stands um, like this. So this is so cool. So this is the base here. Swaggy Maya. This is the base. It says Miraculous. Sorry. <laughs> Just a little um slippery fingers. This is the base. Then we have these two parts. It's really easy to assemble. We've got Cap Blanc and we've got the background. Oh, I can't wait to put this on the shelf. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Uh, I really hope that they make more Cat Blanc merch um, because this is amazing. Okay, how do I put this in? There we go. Okay, got the base. 
and the background. It's a little, a little flimsy. So let me put it down. Not trying to drop it again. Then we've got Cat Wong. Let me put him in. Oh my god, this is so Ah! I love. Look at that. Makes a funny sound when it moves. Um, but this is such a cool piece to have if you like to display stuff and just to have in your collection in general. Um, and all these items are exclusive to the Culture Fly box. But man, that is really cool. I love, love. Um, okay, next item. I'll be answering um, questions that you guys have later uh, because I'd like to unbox this first. Oh my gosh, I see something really cool. But to quickly just say anything to do with the episodes, it's if there's been any update or news, I've updated updated it in my community tab. So if you haven't seen my recent community post, I would check them out because there's been a lot because there's been a lot of quick new stuff coming out. Um, and besides that, honestly, no one really knows what's going on this week with episodes. So besides that, Clone Echo is airing today at 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time. So next thing is greeting cards. Greeting cards. This is so cute. And the fact this all came just yesterday, like perfect time for Christmas is everything is so well thought out. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, are they different? They are. Okay, I got to show you guys these cards. Okay, so first we have a ladybug one. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So we have a ladybug one. I love to pen pal with um, people. You guys know that. But I also pen pal with Ezra. So I think I want to write one of my next letters in, in one of these. Um, we have a Tiki and Pelag one. And we also have a Cat Noir one. Out of the three, which one is your favorite? They're all so good. I don't. I really like the Tiki and Plague one. I think it's so cute, but like all of them are so cute. Yeah. Ladybug. Oh, and guys, it also does come with envelopes. Tiki and Plague, Ladybug one. Tiki and Plague, duh. I know, they're very cute. Um, but yeah, so those are the envelopes and letters. Next thing we have is a picture frame. Oh my gosh. Wow. This box is so good. Ah. The boxes are always amazing, okay? And I say that every time, but like being surprised and not knowing what's inside of the box and like all of this merch being in it is literally the best thing ever. And I'm not like I used to be where I used to like actually peek in the box and like see like, okay, what's inside? Everything I'm opening, I'm just seeing now. So here is the frame. And obviously you can take out this photo here of Ladybug and Cat Noir. But for now, I will keep it in and I'll put it on my shelf or maybe I'll keep it on my desk here somewhere. So, but eventually I will probably change the photo. Like if I ever go to a miraculous Comic-Con convention or something and I get to take a photo with like, you know, the cast or stuff, you know, I, I will change the photo. Um, but this frame is adorable. And the fact you have these two in it is just so cute. So cute. I love, I love how I finish every sentence with I love because I like everything. Okay. Next thing is a scarf. What? A, a Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have Cat Noir on one side and then we have Ladybug on the other. Guys, what? Hello? I don't, I like never wear a scarf, so I don't know how to do this, but like, wait, can we do it so like Cat Noir is kind of showing? Let's see. Wait, that is so cute. Ah, I love. I need to, I'm so sorry guys, I need to find another word, but um, um, that's my favorite word. So, mm, I love it so much. It's really pretty on me, thank you. I will probably wear this when I go out, like, 
nice and warm keep me warm i love this okay next item this item is the last item in the box and i was this item has been shown i think it was the first sneak peek of the box that we got but it is this amazing christmas sweater with ladybug and cat noir tiki and flag and it goes to say does it say anything oh no okay but look at this love um yeah so this was the first item that was ever shown that was going to be in this box and i was debating before the live i was like okay should i try and pull it out of the box without looking so that I can wear it for the live because it's such a cute sweater. Uh, luckily, I didn't do that because I would have saw everything that was in the box because this thing was like right at the bottom. Guys, guys. Oh my gosh. And you know what's so cute is that the tags, I actually keep these and I like stick them in my journal or something. It's so cute. Okay. That was everything in this beautiful box beautiful uh let's do a recap of the items and then i can get to questions and stuff like that oh my gosh okay so i like to count the box itself as something because it's a miraculous box then we have this scarf we have this thank god i am so sorry guys i just got a random call and it scared me so much because sometimes calls um make the lives end and i forgot to put my phone on do not stir disturb mode that scared me anyways let's keep going um then i got this picture frame we have some cards dun, 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 dun. and envelopes and we also have my favorite thing which is this cat blanc acrylic figure i love it so much you know what would be really cool is if they make a figure of cat i love figures i love figures um so that's so cool i'm gonna put it off to the side it's very fragile um like i feel like it'll fall out easily um but it's also really easy to assemble so yeah we have an acrylic pin and of course we've got the wrapping paper we've got two different designs here love and then we have this miraculous like kind of it's just a little card that explains to you everything inside the box oh my gosh and even these like these are so pretty everything is just so pretty in the box so that is everything that came in the winter miraculous culture fly box and i don't know if it is still available you guys know that these boxes or if you don't know these boxes sell out so fast and once they're sold out they're gone that's why all the items are exclusive to it etc so if you guys love these boxes and you're like okay i want to get the next one i have it linked in my description where you can get your culture fly boxes from or you can just head to culture fly you'll see the miraculous section there but that is everything this had us from the side store i'm just going like this but that is everything that came in this box again it's so funny i just opened my fall one like last week yeah i think it was last week over the weekend and here we are with our winter one so it is awesome and um i'm definitely going to be displaying this all on my shelf over there don't worry, a room tour will be coming because mostly my room is just miraculous stuff and I think that would be fun. You guys know I'm building this wall. I need to get better double-sided tape because my pictures, um, these ones, like, tend to fall off. Anyways, let's answer some questions now because I know that's what y'all have been asking. So, how much does the box cost? So, it depends, um where you are where it's shipping to um there's also two subscriptions that you can get so if you want to just or okay let me explain the other one first 
The second one is that you can get all four boxes. So you pay for all four of them because there's four boxes that come out a year. Um, there's seasonal boxes and the seasonal subscription things. So if you want to get all four of them, I think you'll be paying over $100, like paying for all of them. Again, I'm not too sure how that subscription works because I had never used that one. I always use the one-time subscription, meaning that you just buy the one box and that's it. Um, and it really varies, like wherever you are. So if you are curious, you can head to their website to check. And also be, uh, make sure that you check where they ship to. Did you hear my little gibberish? I was like, Bleh. when are we getting risk? Okay, again, to clarify, the only thing that we know is that Kuro Neko is airing today at 2.55 p.m. Eastern time. That's it. We have no clue when Risk is airing, when Strike Back is airing. We don't know what days they're coming out. Um, the only thing I would assume we can like kind of confirm for the finale is that it'll also be airing at the same time the episode's airing today. So 2.55 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but yeah, besides that, we have no clue about the finale. It's kind of a mess um, or like a last minute thing that we don't really know about. But that's it. Three episodes are airing back to back to back this week. And um, yeah, isn't that crazy though? Like three episodes this week, it's a lot. Um, also, the finale is going to be, or all these episodes this week are in Ukrainian. Interesting. I don't think we've ever had a season four episode that aired first in Ukrainian. Um, did we? I don't think we did, but I'm not too sure. So that's going to be interesting. So of course, we'll just have to wait for subtitles if you do plan to watch it in Ukrainian. Um, but yeah, imagine a cap long figure. I know. I know some people were saying, and I do agree that it would have been really awesome if Culturefly, instead of doing this acrylic stand, did a figure like the Shadow Moth one that we had seen. Um, but nonetheless, this is really cool. Where to watch? I literally don't know. Like, the VPN is not going to work for watching them this time, so I don't know what's going to really happen. Um, but yeah. What are all the episodes that are going to air this week? So we've got three. Today, Kuroneko is airing. And then the two other ones is the finale. The finale is two parts, Risk and Strike Back. All together, The Last Attack of Shadow Moth. So that's what we know so far. So three episodes are airing this week. Also, you guys, season five, Mela Lee, Tiki's voice actress for the English dub. She is... Um, or she shared yesterday on her Instagram story that she's recording season five. Season five coming up. I'm so excited. Uh, when I saw that, I was like, all the excitement was just going through. That's really exciting. The thing is, you know how there was like a really big waiting time between season three and season four? I don't think it's going to be like that with season five. Obviously, I don't know when it's expected to come out next year, um, but it's so exciting. Can you believe it? Like, it feels like just a week ago, we were talking about season four. I mean, we, we're still talking about season four, but we were talking about it and we were talking about Queen Banana and Soul Crusher airing and Mr. Pigeon 72 and like, it all just, it's gone by so quickly. Um, season five is expected to come out next year. I know that uh, there was some news sharing like it's expected for July 2022, but dates are subject to change. So I don't really want to go by that. And even the brand ambassadors were kind of saying like, okay, it's, we just know it's expected to come next year. The movie's coming next year. Also, something else is, you guys know the manga, correct? We know. We know the manga. But 
manga number two. The second one is coming out January 7th. And so this one focuses on episodes like The Bubbler, Stormy Weather. The second one is going to be focusing on Evil Illustrator and Dark Cupid. My, I love those episodes so much. So I'm super excited. The cover looks so pretty. And I haven't yet shared the news about the manga on my community tab, but I did share it on my Instagram story. So, um, I should get a Miraculous bed set. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I'd want to get a Miraculous bed set. I know they make them though, but they look cool, but I don't think I'd want to get a bed set. Um, will I do a giveaway? Yeah, I do have a giveaway being planned at the moment. Uh, but if I do do a giveaway, I will definitely share the news in my community tab, in a video, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, so everything. Uh, when is Psycho Median going to air? I have no clue. Mm, I don't know. You know what? The Psycho Median is the real finale of season four. Uh, sorry, the chat is like going so fast and whenever I go to freeze it or to touch it it like makes the stream lag so I'm like trying to read them really quickly um I'm very excited about Kuroneko I'm very excited we okay because let me explain so Kuroneko when I first heard about that episode I immediately thought Felix Felix is gonna be akumatized or something like that and after Gabriel aggressed and seeing him break out of the akumatization, I was like, mm hmm, I don't know if that's going to be possible anymore. But that is what I was originally thinking when I heard about Kuroneko. So this to me will be an episode that probably has a special cat noir moment. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because Merry or early Merry Christmas to you all too and early Happy New Year's and stuff. Um, I will obviously be saying this again when it's actually the day and stuff, but I see you guys saying in the chat, so happy early ones to you guys as well. Uh, but what I was saying is that Brand Ambassador Anita, once um, back in the summer, I believe, when she was doing a little Q&A, she was asked what her favorite episode was, and I believe she said Kuroneko. And in that story, she put a little black cat gif, jif, whatever you call it, at the bottom of the screen. And she continues to say how that's one of her favorite episodes of this season. So I really feel like it's going to be an episode that will focus on Adrian and Cat Noir. But I'm also like, maybe it'll focus on Felix too. Um... Do I think Adrian and Felix are senti monsters? Yes. Pen paling status. Uh, honestly, I haven't been working on my pen pals lately. I've just had zero time. But they are getting sent out. We are working on them. I just need to catch up on them and then finally I'll be able to like breathe more because I'm trying, but there's so many. And because of school, I fell really behind on pen paling, so. Um, when Gabriel said it's harder to work without Natalie, do you think he'll give the Peacock more? Oh yeah, you know what guys, I should actually talk about my finale theories because I told you, or a lot of my, or actually, let's say a chunk of my theories that I had for the finale were going to be talked about in my Gabriel Agrest analysis video. And if you guys didn't already see my community post, I cannot share it anymore because I don't have time. Like I just, I have zero time and I'm not trying to pull all-nighters like every day this week because it's also Christmas week and I want to enjoy it and spend time with my family and not just be stuck in my room editing like the entire week so um Gabriel Agrest analysis isn't coming I'm not gonna do one on ephemeral because it's just the episode is what it is like it didn't do anything to progress the plot or anything so yeah uh but as for theories so something that I found really interesting in the Gabriel Agrest episode is how Gabriel went to mention at one point, 
I realize now, Natalie, you are irreplaceable. It's a little too late to say that now, Gabriel, because now Natalie is in really bad condition. Uh, but we know that the tables are gonna turn, things are gonna switch around sooner or later. I'm saying the end of this season. And, oh, 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 okay. So talking about this, also to add in the Gabriel Agrest episode, we know that Felix is now finding interest in the miraculous. He's watching the lady blog and he's trying to learn things. So to me, that is okay. He's after the peacock miraculous. And we know that former spoiler image we got of Adrian with the peacock miraculous. I've said it's Felix. I feel like it's Felix. Um, but it's really interesting because Felix is showing signs in specifically the peacock miraculous. Why? Because he's a senti monster. Uh, but <laughs> um, it's really, really interesting. And if Felix gets away with the peacock miraculous, which the thing is in that image, he's definitely got a fake. Let's say he does successfully get the real one. How, like, to me, that means that in season five, we're gonna start to get to see more of London. And the reason being because Felix is in London, while Lila, if she gets the Butterfly Miraculous, is going to be here in Paris. Um, so that's also something that's a little tricky is because people tend to ask me, which I've even asked myself, would Lila and Felix work together? And honestly, while maybe one day they will, I mean, it would be such an iconic duo, I don't think that they are because Felix is going to be in London and also both of their uh, motives are very different. Felix has always been, is this funny that I'm literally talking about like uh, my whole theory here, but this makes up for me not being able to like do my analysis video because I really want to share my theory. So let's keep going. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, now I know. While Felix tends to be considered an evil character, I don't actually see him as being an evil character. Um, and also, I don't think Felix would ever want to hurt Adrian. Like, genuinely, I don't think he'd ever want to hurt him. So, my point is, if Felix gets a hold of the Peacock Miraculous, he will be in control of himself, and he'll be in control of Adrian. Not that I think he's going to try and control Adrian, but if he's the new Peacock Miraculous holder, I mean, so it's really interesting. And when I say both of their motives are really different, I mean that if Felix is after the Peacock Miraculous, it's because he's doing it to, to have full control and freedom over himself and his existence. Whereas Lila getting the butterfly miraculous, Lila just is evil. She's evil, okay? Uh, so what would Lila even want to do with the butterfly miraculous? I assume she just wants to continue manipulating people and lying and just having that power. So that's something that I think is really interesting to consider moving forward and that we could be getting to see more of London next year or next season. And another thing that's made me think like we could see London more is because the London special is expected to come out next year. And I think that's really interesting because the London special, you know, it's, it's in London. So if season five starts to also have a focus of not just being in Paris, but also getting to see Felix in London, I just, I think that would be really cool. Um, back to the questions, cause I know I was talking for a while there. Uh, OMG, you're live. I am live. Guys, there's gonna, this week is going to be, I was saying it earlier to myself, I'm like, this week is literally gonna be live galore. There's gonna be so many live streams. Um, I'll probably be live later to react to the episode. I really am hoping to find like a legit good place to watch it. But if it comes down to it that I'm gonna have to watch it somewhere 
not so good and that doesn't support the channel uh but we're gonna see what happens um the brazil special is expected to come out next year too which makes me wonder if the lady lion themed special will be pushed back to 2023 or something because it's a lot let's not also forget that um spin-offs are supposed to be like announced next year or talked about so it's interesting um do i think emily will come back no <laughs> i don't think she's going to i mean I've said this, but like the, to me, this just wouldn't make sense how it would happen. But I'm like, could you imagine at the end of the season, we get a scene where Emily's eyes open and then it goes like to a black screen or something, you know? Mm. I just, I don't see how that would make sense or like happen, but like that'd be crazy if it did. Um. So the subscription boxes on the Zag store is the same as Culture Fly. No, they are totally different boxes. So the Zag subscription boxes are boxes that you will get every month. Um, and they come with different stuff in them. The Culture Fly boxes are is a completely different subscription where you will get four boxes a year. You get one in the fall, the spring, summer, and winter. And yeah, they're two different subscriptions. Why did I name my channel the My B Show? Because my name is Maya Bork. So, My B. And um, my dad had actually always told me, like, the Maya B Show or something like that. So, that's kind of why my channel is named the way it is. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, what boxes do you prefer? So, the boxes that I prefer, I love both of them, but I prefer the Culture Fly boxes. So, if you're stuck between one or the other, this is my thought about it um the culture fly boxes are really nice because you get stuff every month but with the culture fly boxes whatever you get in the box is on the website so you can always purchase it whenever you want and if you really want it on the website whereas the culture fly boxes are everything that's in here is exclusive and is only available for a limited time so um once these boxes sell out they're gone. So I would suggest the Culture Fly subscription over the Zag one just because you can get the Zag items on their website. Whereas Culture Fly, it's one time. Everything that comes in the box only comes in the box. So yeah. Did I do the unboxing? I did, but once I get towards the end of the live, I will recap everything that I got in the box. Um what is my favorite picture on my wall? That's a fun question. Uh there's this whole wall I plan to have pictures on, but as of right now, there's so many. All the walls, I mean, all the pictures on this wall are pictures that I love, love, love. So, like, all of them. A lot of them are actually, or not a lot of them, but quite a few of them are commissions. Um, we're, This is so hard doing it through the screen. This one's a commission. Uh, this will, wait, wait, where's my finger? This one's a commission. This one's a commission. This one's a commission. This is drawn by my friend Hannah Smith. Uh, you can find her on Instagram. She sent me this in a letter. It's so cute. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, this one's also a commission. And some of them are from Sorter Online. That's from the manga. Lots of stuff. Kuroneko is airing today. Do I think Marinette will get akumatized? I definitely think she will one day. And you know, I really, 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 really thought this was going to be the season she was akumatized. Did that happen? No. I mean, we still have some episodes left, but you know what I'm saying? It didn't happen. Um, But I can't see how it would just never, ever happen. Like, it's got to happen one day. And I think that will be next season, but we'll see. Um... You know what I also think is happening next season? The reveal. Yeah, I think the reveal is happening next season as well. Uh, but that's just me theorizing stuff. Uh, yes, yeah. I think, like, 
to me it just makes sense and I know I'm saying this wrong um but Thomas was saying how like season six marks a new arc or something like that and you know a lot of people including myself have thought wonder if season six is like a time skip or maybe it won't but if it's a new arc then I would assume in the first one that the reveal would have at least happened so that's that's how I think about it How many episodes are left of Miraculous? Okay, well, um, for this season, as of right now, we have six episodes left to be seen, one which will be seen today. But every season, there's 26 episodes. And as of right now, we are confirmed up until season seven. They didn't say like, hey, that's the last season. They just confirmed up until then. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It just got so bright. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, so... Does that kind of answer your question? Because there's going to, I mean, I don't even know if you count specials and stuff too, but yeah. Um, do I pen pal with Hannah and Christina? Um, I do. Uh, I still need to write my letters back to them, but I'm preparing them over here. So yeah, I do. I'm actually, Christina and Hannah are some of my best friends. So they're really awesome. Uh, when do I think season five will come out? Well, it's expected for next year. So let's see what happens. Also, why does my like camera look kind of foggy? I think it's like the lighting. I don't know, but it looks kind of weird. I am so excited for the movie. I'm so excited. Um, but also, going back to my theories from the Gabriel Agreste episode, another really interesting thing, again, relating back to Natalie, is, you know, now Gabriel is realizing, like, how important she is and how she has always been her, his greatest ally and has like, without Natalie, Gabriel would have never found the two Miraculouses. Um, and in a way, that might be a good thing. In a way, that might be a bad thing. But without Natalie, he would not have been able to accomplish nearly as much as he has accomplished. But you guys know what I mean. So, with also that image of Natalie having the twin ring it's interesting because because I believe Adrian is a senti monster right if you don't that's totally fine but I will be explaining my theory on this I have to wonder like okay Adrian is expected to leave with Lila this finale and with Natalie having the ring that means that she's going to be in control of him she's going to be able to have that power over him while Gabriel isn't watching him. So I'm wondering, will Natalie use the ring in any way while Adrian's gone? Or, this is a little far-fetched, but you know, I also wonder, could you imagine something again like Cap Blanc, another moment like that, um, were to happen and instead of her actually telling Gabriel this time she protected Adrian and like didn't say anything if that were to happen but and guys I gotta be honest I am so excited to see Lila this finale because when Lila's there it's crazy and I like those crazy episodes what time is it here it is let me check it's 11.48 a.m. Um, a reminder uh, that the finale, I mean, sorry, not the finale, Crone Echo is airing today, 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, somebody asked, is it weird that Miss Bustier hasn't had her child yet? In Miraculous, it has only been a few months, so it is not weird at all. Um... Is Lady Dragon out? I assume you're talking about the Shanghai special. It is out. 
You can watch it on Disney Plus if you have. Um, when is the Miraculous Awakening movie coming out? So it's expected for next year, but honestly, I I think it was confirmed for April 2022. But at the same time, I don't want to like promise anything because dates are always subject to change. Um, and the light novel has been, or not, sorry, not the light novel, the novel for the Awakening movie, which you can find on Amazon in pre-order. The date has been pushed back for to release three times. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. But you guys saw that cute cat noir one we got yesterday that was so cute. And I actually have um, a theory for the Awakening movie. The thing is, you can't really theorize for the Awakening movie because like it's not canon to the series. But what I mean is like, I do have a theory as to what could happen. So I wanted to make a video on that this week, but because of all the episodes coming out, I have no time, uh, but yeah. So that will probably be a video that will come after all these crazy episodes come out and I can get my videos on them out. The movie will be in theaters, which I'm so excited about because here in Canada, if, because I am in Canada, if you uh, go like out anywhere, there is no Miraculous merch. There is nothing. The one time there was ever Miraculous merch was the Kinder Eggs and that was over the summer and that was it. They never had anything else, um, which is really sad because for me, I'm someone that loves to see things like in person. I know I was explaining this on my last live, but I'm just really excited for there to be something miraculous in person because everything's online. So like even season four, um, while they air the episodes on Family Channel, which is a channel here, um, they're like not on Disney Plus. They're not anywhere like that. So it's hard for me to even rewatch them. Sad, but hopefully they can come to Canada and like be on Disney Plus and stuff because season one to three is on Netflix and that's really convenient so I can rewatch them anytime. But season four like just airs once on Family Channel, like new episodes on Monday, new episodes, episodes we've seen, but they just, they're airing it now. Um, so hopefully it comes. Um, I would move my phone, but it is plugged in. And also when I move my phone on YouTube streams, it is, so laggy and I don't want to make it all laggy all of a sudden uh but what I can do is I will uh take a picture of this and I can share it on my Instagram story like an update on the wall because I'm adding more photos to it like I said I need to get better double-sided tape because these pictures will just like randomly fall off in the middle of the night and I'm like no and you know what's really bad is that my bed, like, it's not fully against the wall, it is, so sometimes pictures will fall, but luckily, um, I put a pillow there and they don't fall, but the struggles of having a weak double-sided tape for these photos. Um, I oh, there was a question I wanted to answer and I just missed it. And whenever I scroll up, it, like, freezes. I don't know why I, like, scroll up for the chat. Yeah. Where's my tattoo? Guys, the tattoo came off that day. Do you see, this is, there was a Cat Noir tattoo in the Fall Culture Fly box. So I put it on, on the live and uh, it came off that day. It was very, it was a very weak tattoo, but like, it was really cute. Um, do you think the movie will show a new Miraculous? That's interesting. I don't think um, there will be a new miraculous um i mean we normally see that kind of stuff in like the specials that it isn't to say we won't maybe they're the miraculous could have a new design or like a power upgrade or like powers we've never seen i don't know because remember we saw that image of hawk moth with these beautiful big purple wings so i have no clue what's gonna happen we just know the movie is based off of jeremy's perspective so everything's like up in the air like how things could go i don't even know like i'm wondering is zoe gonna be in it is um other like is chloe going to be the main queen bee again or like the main holder again in the movie um because 
remember, it's not canon, so we actually have no clue what's gonna happen. So, yeah. When will Sabrina get her miraculous? Well, um, well, months ago, I theorized that she would get it in Penaltine, and I think I'm right. Uh, so I think she's gonna be getting it in Penaltine, so that's exciting. Um, what do I want for Christmas? Honestly, I didn't have anything on my Christmas list because normally if I want to get something, like, I'll just get it for myself. Um, but, uh, surprisingly, I didn't have any Miraculous merch on my Christmas list. Like, besides what I got, this manga, the second one, actually is on my Christmas list. But that's something I'll get myself because it's kind of confusing to buy them. Um... But yeah, I didn't actually have, like, miraculous stuff on my Christmas list. Again, I really didn't have anything. But something that I did have was the Demon Slayer manga box set. That was one thing. Um, Sword Art Online books. A Sword Art Online figure. And, um, yeah. That was, uh, it. Um, also because Christmas is like literally gonna be here in a few days. What is some things that you guys are looking forward to for Christmas? Is it seeing family? I mean, I'm sure seeing family is one. Um, but also, what are some things that are on your guys' Christmas wish list? I'm curious to know, what are some things that you uh, were hoping for? You like my lights? I didn't even realize you can kind of see them, yeah. See, I put on the red ones for Christmas. Um, how can you pen pal me? So in the description of all of my videos, good grades, love that. Uh, in the description of all of my videos, I have my PO box address where you can send a letter to, uh, and that's how you can send a letter. If you're unsure like how to send stuff, um, or if you've never sent stuff before, I'd ask your parents because they'll probably know, but yeah. Uh, is it confirmed that, sorry, I just missed your question. I think you're asking, is it confirmed Crown Echo's airing today? It is confirmed. And it's at 2.55 p.m. Eastern time. As to where to watch it, I literally have no clue. I do. And I know sites that just aren't good. And I don't want it to, like, be like that. I want to be able to watch it with my VPN. Like, I always watch the episodes. So I'm still trying to figure out a way and I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we've got to, we've got to make it work. Um, what animes do I watch? Good question. I'm very new to the anime world. Like I just started watching, um, anime series and stuff at the end of October. Um, and the first one I ever watched was Sword Art Online. Love it so much. Uh, but I'm also watching Demon Slayer. And yeah, those are the two, right? Yes, those are the two that I've watched. Uh, but I have a bunch of shows on like my watch next list. So yeah. Um... Does everyone get the same items in the culture fly boxes? Yes, and also the same goes for the zag boxes. Everyone gets the same stuff. Uh, but with the culture fly boxes and the zag ones, you can actually, uh, you, you tell them your size so that you make sure you get like a sized item for you if it's like a shirt or whatever it is, or jewelry. For example, on the zag store, they ask for like your ring size because if you might get a ring, but yeah. What's an unpopular miraculous opinion I have? Um, I feel like one of them is that I really enjoy when Lila's in episodes. I think that's probably the biggest one that I have. Um, yeah, I think that's the biggest one that I have is that I enjoy when Lila's in episodes. Are we getting a Christmas special for Miraculous? There is a Christmas special. Um, there's no new Christmas special coming out. So... There is already one, uh, if you haven't seen it. Um. My gosh, see, I'm trying to, like, scroll to hold the questions, and it's not letting me. Um, I think someone asked Bark or Oriko. 
I would probably say Bark. But I haven't seen Oriko, so I can't say. Um, but already for me for Bark is because I've gotten to hear a bit of Bark. And because I love Bark's voice actor. Her name is Sabrina. Um, and she's known as Glow Girls on Instagram. Because she has an Instagram account with her sister. They're both voice actresses. So they're really awesome. Uh, how many episodes are confirmed for this month? This week, three episodes. Yeah. I don't know if, um... I don't know if more episodes are coming next week. It's just, it's really crazy. Like, three in one week is a lot. But, um, it's a good way to wrap up this year with three big, big episodes. Have you seen the flip sequence? Have I seen the flip sequence doll? Have I? Ha hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dun, da, 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 da. I have. I have her. And I need to unbox her. She's amazing. Let's play with the sequence. It's so fun. Guys, I have so much stuff to unbox, like, a lot. And I always say this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a nice video, all edited and fancy of me unboxing it. But I love unboxing stuff um, on live streams because I love, like, just talking a lot in the middle of them. Uh, so, yeah. Here she is, and I plan to uh, do a whole other live stream where I will be unboxing her, the flip doll of her, um, the Marinette doll, and the Marinette dollhouse because those are some things that I have to unbox. Oh my god, sorry to myself for hitting me in the face with the box. <laughs> uh, thank you again so much for the super chat. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to get to it. Uh, Miguel, I think. Or Mijul. Mijul? Thank you for the super chat. Um, oh my god, I'm trying to get to the question. This is so annoying. What size of Zagbox do you have? I have the medium one. Um, the small one is amazing too, though, because I have some friends that get the small one, and it still looks amazing. But yeah, I do get the medium one. Yes. My favorite singer, Christina V. Who? Christina V is the voice actress behind Marinette and Ladybug. She voices a lot of great characters and like, she's amazing. So I love her song so much. And I'm really excited because she is actually working on a new song. And I'm like, oh, am I ready for the, fina the finale? No, I'm not ready at all. At all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um... What is my Hogwarts house? I honestly, I don't know because I don't really watch Harry Potter. Like, I think I watched the first five movies and that's it. How is Bella? Bella's good. She's probably sleeping right now because she hasn't come to my room. Uh, yeah. Um, Lila, so sorry, guys. This is so stressful. Why doesn't the live let me, like, save, hold on to the question? You've made theories about Felix and Lila. The person saying that, can you, can you spam it again? Because I, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to pause it. Um, Bella is my dog. Bella is my dog. Um, I know you've made theories about Felix and Lila. Uh, Peacock Miraculous. Going to get them. Who do you think? Okay, so you know what? Still, I still like barely saw the question. Um, were you asking me who I think is going to get what? Because if you did, I believe it's going to be Felix getting the peacock and Lila getting the butterfly. Um, but if it had to be somebody else, I have no clue. Like, I don't know anyone else who would suit the miraculous. Um, I will try to go live when the episode comes out to react. You guys know, though, I don't show the episodes on live streams because that is not allowed. That is not allowed. So, yeah. Um, live reactions are always my face. Just going like this. Ah! Um, yeah. 
Thoughts on Mr. Banana? Mr. Banana's awesome and funny. And what's even more amazing about Mr. Banana is that Ezra Weiss voices him. Ezra is the director, voice director of the Miraculous English cast. And he's amazing. I got to go live with him um, the other day on Instagram. He's just so nice. Love Ezra. My favorite movie, um, I honestly don't, oh, you know what? Okay, I got some, I got some. Um, so, The Awakening movie will 1000% be one of my favorite movies, but I also love the Sword of Online Progressive movies, the Demon Slayer movies, yeah, that kind of stuff, love, love. Um, how many miraculous boxes have I opened the last few months? Well, uh, every month I do get the Zag subscription boxes and, um, what else? And then two Culture Fly boxes came in the last few months because one was the fall one, which I got this month because it came late. And then I also got the winter one, which just came yesterday. Will I use the Miraculous headphones to react to the episode? I totally should. If I find my little uh, adapter thing so that I can use the head the headphones with my iPad, I will. Well, let's see if I can find it. T-shirt. This is the T-shirt. It's so awesome. And I got this from the Miraculous store on Amazon. And um, I it doesn't ship to Canada. But my dear friend Christina was able to ship them to me. So without her, I would not have this. Um, but also it comes in a lot of colors, which is really nice. And uh, I got the pink because I think the pink just looks awesome. Do you like Felix? Do you? Um, yeah, Felix is awesome. I will always just have to say though, what he did in season three was unacceptable with Ladybug, but he, he slayed. Gabriel Agreste more like Felix de Vanilli. Mm -hmm. um can you do a room tour i will do a room tour video once my room is done yeah do i plan to make any christmas treats um this is not even a christmas treat but maybe banana bread yeah i like to eat candy canes that's not me making a christmas treat but i like them um how many more episodes do we have left of season four? We've got six episodes. Today, or later by the end of today, we'll have five because Kuroneko will come out. And after this week, we'll have three, no, will we? We'll have three episodes left. We'll have Penalty left, Psychomedian, and Chilin. To be seen. I'm shook. I'm shook. Um... You should do a Miraculous 21. Okay, so you just asked I should do a Miraculous 2021 collection. I have been talking about doing a video about this for so long, but I have so much merch. Like, I don't know where to begin. And that's why I want to do a room tour because my merch is, like, scattered across my room, so it will be much easier. So I think I will do that. I think I will do that. Um... But, yeah, that is, um, that. Again, final, um, answers for this. The only thing we know for this week is that Kuroneko is airing today at 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time. As to where we can watch it, that is still something I don't even know yet. Um, but, what else? The finale is also airing this week. This will all be in Ukrainian, so we will be having to watch it in subtitles if you do not speak Ukrainian. And yeah, that's that. There's going to be a lot of live streams this week because we've got lots of episodes to react to. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this live. And let's do a recap of all of the items that we got in this winter 2021 Miraculous Ladybug Culture Fly box. So the first thing we have is the scarf and we've got two different patterns we've got a cat noir theme side and we also have a ladybug theme side then we have a 
I put my bracelet on him by accident. A Cap Blanc acrylic stand display thing. Um, really beautiful. I can't wait to put this on my shelf. Um, then we've got the card, obviously. Wrapping paper. How cool is that? Like, the items that they put in this box was so creative and amazing. I love them. Two different designs again. This one is themed just like the box. And then we have this one that has all the heroes on it. We've got Cat Noir, Rena, Tiki and Flag, Ladybug, Carapace, and then the pattern just repeats itself. Then we have this acrylic pin of Ladybug. I remember when I got the Shanghai box, the summer one, um, I had gotten two pins by accident, so I ended up giving one away to one of my pen palers. Um, and that was fun. Then I got these three cards here. We've got a Cat Noir one, a Ladybug one, and a Tiki and Plague one. And it comes with the envelopes. Then we have this beautiful picture frame. You can just put it like that. And then we have last but not least, this miraculous Christmas sweater. And I love it. So that is everything that is in the Winter Miraculous Culture Fly box for 2021. The box is amazing too. Love and courage and the design, the design is amazing. I love it. Um, but yeah, that is everything. And guys, I cannot believe how close we are to the end of season four. To answer some questions that I see in the chat, we are currently confirmed up until season seven. So when season four is finished, we've got season five, season six, season seven, and a whole lot of other things like specials, spinoffs that are expected to come out, the movie. There's a lot of things coming, so I will probably see you guys later today if I figure out how to watch the episode live. But thank you guys for joining this stream. As always, it was a lot of fun, and I will see you guys probably very soon or later today.